Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll basically rotate the shaft from the motor so you can see which one of these gears is actually connected. Now you notice some of these are spinning faster than others. It's mainly because there's enough friction on the shaft to make these gears turn together to some extent. So as I lock it, you can see which gears are involved and which ones are not. So those two gears are permanently engaged with the gears on the input shaft. I'm holding the output shaft side of things right now because you can see that the big differential here is not turning. So now I'm going to, it's in neutral, I'm going to turn it on and now I'm going to hold the output shaft so we can see which gears are being back driven and which ones would be driven by the gas engine. So they're basically isolated. You can also see that this lever right here as you shift it slides sideways to actually permanently engage these gears. Now you notice this shaft is moving slightly side to side. That's not supposed to happen. That's basically because the little cotter pin that I, the little snap ring that was in here has been removed. Normally this can't shift side to side. So if we go, you can hear the output shaft speed up as the synchro actually gets the, the two gears to turn at the same speed and then you finish the shift this way. Now if this shaft wasn't sideways you'd get a big deeper engagement and go the other way. Let's stop this for a second. See, this should be there. That way you can see the synchro sticking out the side here. This play shouldn't be there, so I'm going to have to fix that before I try to get serious about this. But for the purposes of what I want to show you, this is a first look. So, when we shift between third gear and second gear, you see this other side shift. So there's another set of gears on the other side on the input shaft and this is the output shaft we're looking at. So that's second and third, I mean first, uh, third and fourth. This is first and second and fifth gear is way over in the other side there. And then reverse and that's why you don't want to be shifting into reverse with the gears, uh, with the car moving, because it'll grind. There's no synchro on that. The gear just basically comes over and engages. The leading edge of these, the leading edge of these gears actually has tapers on them. This gear's tapered and that one's tapered, so the gears tend to synchronize as they come in and, and make sure that you get an engagement. So when you hear the grinding, these are very hard gears, and as long as you're not going too fast, you probably won't hurt them if you hear a little bit of grinding. It's when you have to grind every time in the downshift that we have the problem. So let's look at the other side now.